it was about that time of year for students to head back to school. And honestly, going to my second year of college, I've really started discovering myself. But not in the LSD trip before class. <laughs> before class sleeping with everybody experimenting type of deal but but if that's you by all means no 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 i mean college is the time to study about what you're going to do for the rest of your life no pressure and uh, keeping that in mind picking a major is a big deal and when deciding one it typically brings two schools of thought a do what you love go for what you want to do despite the pay or b go for the big bucks picking a major you may not necessarily enjoy but you'll be set for the future passion versus profit thankfully though it's not so black and white for everybody like having the hypothetical golden ticket of loving what you do but also getting to make bank or go for a job with just decent pay but isn't exactly their passion kind of a middle road type deal but it's not that easy for everybody so which way do we go well let's look at both sides and see if we can't throw a little something something together firstly passion okay what i'm about to do i saw a video once and i can't find the source so this is me saying i didn't come up with this okay moving on from about here child slash teenhood we don't really have any worries about future or jobs or college we're just kids and from here to here we retire and we just get to relax get to spend time with our families because we're retired but from this point here about 16 or so that's when life gets a little complicated because that's when we start working all the way to here if you dread going to work every day you're quite literally wasting your life years of time just thrown out the window the majority of your life even plus if you hate what you do what really is the point of success you hate 33 percent of your day every day and another percentage of the day is getting ready for that 33% of the day, which again, you probably hate. And there's no reason to risk picking a job that you won't love because jobs that you end up not liking or possibly hating can actually hurt you. According to the Huffington Post, hitting your job can lead you to gain weight, lower your immune system, ruin your relationships, rob you of sleep, and increase your risk of serious illness. Like, like you could actually get sick from the and that doesn't go to mention the fact that just because you go for the big money doesn't mean you'll actually make it in the big field. Look, when you love what you do, it makes you work all the harder anyways, and that's what leads you to wealth, whether it be metaphorically or literally. And that's coming from the ACT, you know, the people who make those college entrance tests. Students measured interests are similar to the interests of people in their chosen college majors. They'll be more likely to remain in their major, persist in college, and complete a college degree in a timely manner. And that right there, my friends, is the power of passion. But because this is not so clear, and because there's like four minutes remaining in the video, let's look at the other side tracks talk about profit okay let's just get to the bare bones of it repeat after me you need money to live humans need things like food water and shelter to you know i don't know exist and you know how we get that with money 150 for the grocery trip and 150 for a home and not the good 150 and that doesn't count for bills insurance and the demos entertainment and loans so how do we get the money And with all these costs to pay, we don't really have time to be playing around. So we need to be practical here. Can you sustain yourself off of your passion? If the answer is yes, well, shout out to you. But if the answer is no, plus that even taking into account the fact that you may actually not be good at your passion. Say you love singing, but you sound terrible. What do you do then? Keep trying to be a singer? No, because the people on the American Idol blooper section don't go triple platinum. Your passion and your ability aren't necessarily connected and doing what you're good at is more profitable than doing what you want to do. And besides, if you're good at making money, you'll gain a passion for making money. Listen, people are motivated to have a big house, a big car, and a big loan. Even if it's not what you love, you'll love coming home to your extravagant life. You wanna be really, really real? You know that saying, money can't buy you happiness yeah that's bullshit. recent findings suggest that money can indeed increase happiness if it's spent the right way and there we are so what do you think passion or profit personally i lean towards passion because it's your life so you definitely deserve to be happy but you shouldn't have to go hungry because you put all your eggs in one basket you know i like making videos and i'd also love to be an olympian one day but i've got to fund these dreams too so i'm also getting a degree in computer science along with a minor in media production it may not necessarily be my passion but it's a topic i like and i'm okay with that but that's just me so let's just ask the public do you think students should follow their passion or follow money when picking a major? Follow their passion. I believe they should follow their passion. Their passion. They should always follow their passion. Why would they want to major in something they don't like? It's different for each person. You should just go where your heart is. Uh, obviously you didn't come here. I mean, half of y'all probably came here for the money. Why do something that you ain't gonna enjoy doing? There's more to it than that. The money always comes. You need to follow something that you love. There's some people who have passions for things like they don't make enough to raise a family. So if you can find like a happy medium. Why go to college for something that you don't want to do? Um, what's your major? I'm only professional. My major is web development. First degree chef, and I want to play basketball. I'm mental health psychology and minoring in women's studies. Psychology and going to pre-med, I'll be um, going into pediatrics. Political science and criminal justice. Corporate finance management. Okay, so then you followed the passion. Right? Yes. So that's more of a passion? Yeah, it's passion, because I really don't care about money. So you're passionate about making money specifically? Of course. Passion. Passion? passion. 
Uh -huh. Passion and profit. It's right. something I want to do. I want to help people, but mm -hmm. I know I'm making money doing it. Advice to incoming college students on picking their major? Do what you feel is right for you. Don't rush into like making decisions so quickly. Like, you have time, especially like your freshman year. Go where your heart takes you, man. You know, at the end of the day, you'll make that money. If you want to make more, do better. If you really feel like what you're going in is not for you, it's okay to switch. Think about something you like to do and find it on campus. Don't do nothing that somebody forced upon you. Don't listen to others' opinion too. Like don't have your parents get in your head to do, um, to do something they want to do, something you want to do. You have to take a year off. You know, that's nobody's business but yours. So just keep chasing your dreams. Do something that you love because then you'll never work a day in your life. What's up, y'all? Um, thanks for watching the video. Uh, a couple things I want to say real quick. Um, first off, let me shout out the inspiration to this video on um, My Game Crash. Guys, a fantastic channel. Great content. Um, so, yeah, please subscribe. Check his stuff out. It's it's really good. I love it. But, um, yeah, make sure you like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Seriously, like the video. Please make sure you share it. Share it with a friend. Leave a comment about what we should talk about next time. Thanks for checking me out. New video coming up soon. Peace girl screaming at you because you forgot your anniversary because it's a typical human reaction right she's clearly mad and you clearly messed up which we can understand because it's in front of us and we see it and it's terrifying but there's tone and expression right then there's texting which lacks those 